So food and other items in the kitchen can be a huge source of waste in your house. So we've been looking for easier ways to be greener with all of that. Here with tips to get us started is Genevieve Livingston from Eco Collective in Ballard. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having we're me. We were just talking about this. This sort of sounds hard, like we're going to change the way we do things in our kitchen. These are really easy things. Yes. This yeah. is not a big My deal. My biggest advice is to change one thing at a time yeah. so that it's not so overwhelming. Well, let's talk about avoiding food waste because yes. if for no other reason you don't want to throw money down the drain, right? right you right. bought this food, let's make yes. the most of it. Yeah, all this good fresh produce. One of my favorite tricks is to keep things in a glass of water. It's plastic free, it's easy to see, so you use it, and it just keeps it really fresh. I have never seen that. Yeah. And I love it's it. It's a good hack. And then you can also, you can wet down a cotton bag and mm -hmm. it keeps greens crisp, which is hard to do. Yeah, and very important because yes. you're probably not going to use those in a salad if right. they're not crisp and green. So let's talk also about what's left over, what you can do with, for example, the stems off yes. your carrots. Yes, absolutely. That's a great question because a third of all waste is food waste. So with things like carrot stems, I know there's ways to get creative and use them in recipes, but my favorite thing to do is just to collect them in a bag of food scraps mm -hmm. and then you can make a big broth. It's so easy. Super simple. But when you do have to compost, um, we're so lucky in Seattle with such a great compost system. They have a lot of tips on the Seattle Municipal website and everything. Um, Which is a great place to go just to figure out how to get started. Yes, yes. It's very simple. Absolutely. So let's talk about composting. Yes, yes. I always keep my compost bin just super easy to access. Um, in the summer, sometimes I'll put it in the freezer so to avoid fruit flies or smell. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. And generally speaking, it's small enough that you're not, you don't right. need some giant place for it to be. Exactly. Let's talk about this bees wrap because <gasps> we talked about, you know, baggies, plastic wrap, the things that we throw away. We can replace that with right. things that are, are multi-use. Right, right. And these in particular are amazing. They keep bread fresh or avocados. Um, you can wrap them over a bowl. And it's similar to saran wrap, so you're not changing your habit but it's just a great reusable item. Just the product. And if it can keep an avocado fresh. I know. <laughs> that's a big deal because you know you eat half and the other one yes, sits in there. Yes, and it's, it it's keeps not them so green. Great. All right, so let's talk about cooking with less meat because meat takes yeah. up a lot of resources to create. And you know, if we're gonna be more sustainable, I'm trying to do at least one day a week without any meat. Oh, I love and that. And lots of people are, you know, cutting back. Yes, meatless so, Mondays or yeah. whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, we have this great book. Um, it's a vegan cookbook to make little bowls, and it's fresh food, it's all plant based. Um, and I love the idea of cutting it out just start with one night a week. Yeah, I, I start with a meal a day, you know. Yeah, yeah, and just to go plant-based because also produce, no plastic, right? you know. Um, yeah, easiest and way. That's a great bag too. And while we're looking at these products, because, you know, I do love a good baggie. I need them, I use them. So yes. the reusable ones are really cool. Yes. Where do we get these things and make sure that we're getting something that we'll like and we'll use? Absolutely. Well, we carry almost all of this at Eco Collective. Um, and these baggies are so popular because they're handy, they're easy to wash, and they're the perfect size for sandwiches or snacks. Right. Grab and go. And who doesn't need, you know, you're throwing a handful of trail mix or whatever, you yes. need something to put it in. Speaking of that, yep. let's talk about these. Yes, I love these containers. Um, they are just so handy because they're lightweight and they're not breakable, but they're plastic free. Mm -hmm. You can stick them in a toaster oven. You can put them right on the stove top to reheat. That's awesome. And you know, if you need to keep things separate, you've got those, but you can use these forever. They will yes. last yes. forever and ever. Yeah. All right. What's happening over here? Oh yeah. 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 Now <laughs> we can talk a little bit about cleaning because one of the most popular waste items in the kitchen is paper towels. Yes. So I always suggest just keeping some rags around, you know, best to use what you have. Um, if you like having a paper towel roll, we have um, these cloth reusable towels mm -hmm. and they stick to each other just like paper towels. Oh. You pull them off the roll, super wow. absorbent, just clean up your spill or the counter or you whatever. Just wash them? Yes, toss them in the wash. I keep a little laundry basket in my kitchen. <laughs> I, you know, I do too, and I learned it from my mother. She would, when yes. towels got old, we'd cut them up and yep. make rags and use them forever, and I still do. I and love that's, that. you know, it just feels good. You're not throwing paper away. Yeah. What about cleaning products? Oh, sure. Because not only are you using chemical things, but then the plastic bottle gets thrown out yes, every time. Yes, exactly. 
Well, we have some cool ways to avoid that. We have a solid dish block soap. This is also a really um, old way of doing things. It's a French origin soap, and it's made with just olive oil, hmm. and it really cuts the grease. It's great in the kitchen, and you can just take a dish brush, scrub, and then go on your dishes. Um, we also are gonna have refillable dish soap in our new bulk section that's opening in a couple weeks. That's, you know what, I keep wondering about that because you are using it over and over again. Yes. Why can't you just right. have just the refilling refill. station? <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. We'll put these ideas and more on the website. But Wonderful. Thank you. This is easy. Same habit, different product.